Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Today we are reviewing Turtle Wax Hybrid Snow Foam, which is actually, actually can be used in two ways. Can be used as a contact kind of shampoo in a bucket or in a lance, or as a pre-wash that you could spray on your car and rinse off as well. So we're gonna be having a look at this, putting it through its paces and doing a review on it. Welcome back to the channel guys. The golf needs a good clean. It's all dusty and the inside is minging. So I'm gonna give the inside a quick five minute hoover out as well. The turbo, turbo detail. It's not a detail, is it? Um, what am I using guys? Well, I've got my Karcher K7 over here, which I'll be setting up in a second. My little Titan vacuum cleaner down here with a whole load of brushes. Uh, and over here, if you forgive the camera work, I've just got, I'm gonna have one bucket for all my uh, wheels. So I'm gonna fill that up with some uh, APC, some detergent, even a little bit of shampoo, that will do. I've got some detail factory brushes here, got the little mini ones and stuff like that. And I'm just trying out these new hogshead ones, see what they're like. Um, we're gonna be deploying <laughs> the snow foam and the shampoo in the lance over there. So we'll rinse the car off first, put it in the lance, spray this all over the car and then work it with the mitt. I've got some APC, I've got this new Gion Tire Express, which I'm getting to grips with. Going to use those as an applicator to apply it. That I'm going to just soak that microfiber in water and I'm going to put loads of APC on the inside and clean it out, spray some APC around, work it, clear it out with that. I've got a drying towel, a wash mitt, and some of these rag company uh, mitts that I use that I'll quickly go over the glass with at the end. That is it, guys. Um, just back to front cam. I want to get this done very quickly, so let's get stuck in. Hanging with you And it feels like love 
Okay guys, I've just finished doing the car. It took me a lot longer than I wanted to, especially the interior. I don't think I've done the interior since December. It's disgusting. All the bits in the carpet, and I haven't got it immaculate clean. I've done a quick valet on it. Probably spent about an hour in total on the car, like most normal kind of people clean the cars. Going in full throttle mode, and I've got some strength and fitness at the moment since I've given up smoking. It's been about six weeks, and I'm doing a bit of swimming and running. And I've really got strength in my body to clean my cars well and not like get knackered after five minutes which is great um so that's fantastic anyway onto the product guys uh, turtle wax hybrid snow foam i believe this is the equivalent of the ice snow foam range but they don't i don't think we have that ice range in europe i don't think they're allowed to use that word i i guess um hybrid snow foam from turtle wax 13 to 15 quid roughly for two and a half litres. I'll put a link for it in the description. In fact, I could find the best price on Amazon that I found was about 13 quid delivered, which was fantastic. Um, I'd give the value about eight out of 10, guys. You can get some very cheap snow foams of five litres, can't you? But typically from brands that you've heard of, you know, not the kind of bulk chemical brands, you know, it's more or less a fair price. I, I, I think it's a strong price compared to Meguiar's that was 18 quid for one litre. There you go, but then you can get the built hamber one for um, 17 quid for five litres. So eight out of 10 for value, let's not prattle on. You use about 60 to 90 millilitres of it in your lance, or about 60 to 90 millilitres of it in one wash bucket. So let's just say 100 millilitres per wash. So you're gonna get 25 washes out of it, which is gonna last you probably about a year, isn't it? If you're just using it at home and washing your car every two weeks. So that's nice. All good on the value for money um, and all that sort of stuff. What do I say about the products? Um, at, the, at the ratio that they get you to use it, it wasn't as thick and foamy as I thought it was gonna be. I, even when I was tweaking around with it, I couldn't get it to be all thick and, you know, you get those sexy car kind of, you get the old uh, <laughs> girls in the bikinis and stuff with the old sponges and the wet t-shirts and the old, you know, the old uh, knockers hanging out. Um, it, it wouldn't be a snow foam that you'd use for that sort of video because it's not quite as thick and sexy as kind of the Meguiar's one. It was decent, thick enough. I laid it onto the car. It felt like it had a good amount of slick there. So it felt a bit like a, a normal bucket wash shampoo that's quite skiddy under the, um, under the mitt. Decent. I'm working in heat, 26 to 27 degrees today. And I let the product dwell on the car a long time. In fact, the droplets had started to dry, um, but it still rinsed off the car really well. I was worried I was gonna get bad water staining, actually, as I was going doing the wheels at the end, which is a bit of a funky way to do it, isn't it? I could see it was all drying. I'm like, oh, Christ. But no, no problems at all with water spots. It rinsed off really well. Going by how this stuff cleaned the alloys, I think it's a mild cleaner, and its aim is to not sort of affect your protection so it's like some sort of ph neutral it doesn't actually claim ph neutral i don't think oh yes it's ph balanced okay which is slightly different but it's a ph balanced um product so it's there to protect your your car um all in all guys decent we will learn exactly how this performs when we put it up against other products in our next round of snow foam testing which i'll tell you about in a second so the positives the price the smell, it's got a nice, really strong cherry uh, smell, and I like the rinseability and the slickness of the product. The negatives, it claims hydrophobic polymers in there. I couldn't notice them. Couldn't notice them anywhere on the car. It didn't give me a hydrophobic boost or a hit on the car. Um, so that's just an observation. I'll try and overlay you what I'm talking about. And I also think that the product, while being pH neutral, might, I need to explore it, more but it might lack cleaning power of some more aggressive products or alkaline products on the market as you might expect so we'll explore that more it's a bit premature to say that because it's only after one test but i can usually tell when these chemicals hit the alloys and the tires if they're really digging into him because it starts browning off and it just didn't have that sort of kick to it um Overall, guys, if I blind tested this against the Meguiar snow foam, which I recently reviewed, blind, blind testing them, I would probably give it to Meguiar's because the Meguiar's product is thicker, it's richer, it's more blingy, 
and it clings and it just looks good and it's hard even though that that's foam probably doesn't do anything i just it just looks and it's fun and all that sort of stuff and i would pick the Meguiar's one if I was blind testing them. However, if my wallet was in control of this blind test, it would most definitely pick the Turtle Wax Snow Foam Shampoo product. And I think from what I've seen of it, I've not had any problems and it's a decent, um, it's a decent snow foam. Okay guys, so this is just kind of like a preliminary look at it. I'm building up my lineup for the snow foam, next snow foam comparison. I have the Turtle Wax, I have the Meguiar's, I have Koch Gentle Snow Foam, GSFs to go in there. I have the Wax Planet 8 degrees below zero that I've just ordered. So that's four of them. I'm probably going to order a couple more. Um, Sonax, I might get one from them. It's always good to have a couple of German ones and I might get another English one. So I might leave it at around six products this time because that's a little bit more manageable, I think. After that, do I really need to keep exploring snow foams? Do you need more recommendations? Stuff like that, I don't think so. This, it's interesting, but I think we'll probably call it a day after that. That is it on the Turtle Wax, guys. I think Turtle Wax, for me, seem to have been, you know, formulating a lot, lot recently. This product, this video is not sponsored. I've just gone and bought this stuff, guys. I want to have a look at it. And yeah, I'm reasonably impressed with it. You know, um, perhaps there's a bit of a stigma with Turtle Wax that some of their products, some of their products were a bit dated, I think, and, and they've been around a long time. But this new range that, that's coming over here, the hybrid range, which I think is the equivalent of the ice range, to me seems to be really good value and decent performance as well. And I, so far, I wouldn't have too many problems recommending them to you. Um, so that's it on this one guys, thank you very much for watching, let me know if you've used this product, um, pretty good stuff and we'll learn more about it in the test. Thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe to the Forensics Detailing channel, you can follow us on the Facebook and Instagram and if you like the content we provide, um, we're also on Patreon as well, all the information is in the description of this video, thanks for watching, really appreciate it, take care and uh, I haven't got anything else to say, I need to get like a little catchphrase at the end of the video as I work on something. All right, guys, see ya. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I?